The NIST hybrid library search is a powerful tool for unknown identifications in both GCMS and LCMS analyses. Today, I will demonstrate the GCMS analyses in EI mode. So if we go in first, do a library search, this will be our unknown at the top. For the simplicity of the demonstration, I've listed it structured, but it is not present in either of the libraries supplied by NIST, the main and the replicate. So we'll go to the top and first do an identity search. That would be the standard type search. And when you do that, you see that the best match down here is 738 out of 1,000, so not very good. And if you look at the structure, you can tell it's not related at all to our unknown on the top. So let's switch to hybrid mode. Now, when you look at the bottom, you see that the hit factors for many of the hits are up in the 900s, so very uh, reasonable hits. And if you look at the structures, you can see it's now for the best hit, it's very much related to our unknown. The difference is in our unknown, the fluorine has been replaced by a hydrogen. This difference is, of course, 18. So if you look at here in the table, it shows these delta mass values for things, and the difference is 18. In the search itself, the hybrid search is actually two searches that are combined into one hybrid score. So it first does the standard identity search, which in this case is the bottom part of the spectrum. But then it goes and shifts the ions by this delta mass that it has determined, and then compares the top part of the spectrum or the lost part of the spectrum. In this case, it, kind of, it shows it with every ion that's been shifted in gray has been shifted to this color for example, for the 164. This might be a little hard when you're first looking at it to discern this, so I like to go and say neutral loss display. And now you can see that the neutral loss part of the score would be very good for this compound because it's very, very good match at the top part for the neutral loss. So this combined score gives you the score of 963. So if you want to use this approach for your work, Go to my webpage and there's lots of tips and examples on how to use this in your everyday analyses.